I don't know where the lads are gone. Not that I can eat lunch with them, but you know, at least we could chat in between the cars. Am I eat? Am I eat? Is it called eating lunch when all you're eating is fucking salad? Oh, so nice. Fucking rat. Coffee's nice though. I like my coffee. This cap Columbia. I like it. Maybe I'm drinking too much of it. Oh, Vicky, this morning, she was like, are you not going to shave? She was like, Vicky, I never shave in November. She was like, oh. It's uh, very entertaining watching her getting frustrated over facial hair. Oh, I have the heated seats on. This is lovely. I love this yoke. Can't wait to get me on. Garrett's giving me a helping hand. Did you put WD-40 or any oil on that? Uh, not yet, but... Because they need it. They're like an old vagina. They need a bit of lubing up. <laughs> oh, yeah, now we're at... Greg? Yeah? I don't know what you're doing in there. It seems like you're just avoiding work. Typical. Isn't it? Oh, it's not three and one aisle. It's not three and one aisle. We're not fucking greasing the door hinge. WD-40 or something. <laughs> Greg, it's not. WD-40 is a water displacement. I don't know. What have you got? How are your jackets so dirty? I'm isolated and I have to keep away from you. Yeah, well I hope it fucking lasts. That's it, Greg. Lube that bitch up. Oh, yeah. Just clean it. Have it nice and clean. You like that? Man. And get it nice and tight for me. Here, I'm going to lube you up. Don't, don't, don't. Greg, I'll kick you. Get away from me. Kick nothing. Kick you. Nah. Oh, Jesus, when am I getting a new machine? Never. I'm sick of this. <sighs> Lads. If Come you on. started to produce something, maybe you think about it. <laughs> Someone say, why don't you buy new machines? And we go, because just no good driver. <laughs> <laughs> you're not very nice to me. Oh. No, you're not that used. <laughs> just a little bit. I know, you're so bad. Thanks, Greg. She shall wear, but I'll do everything here. Yeah, work away. Sure, guy, you know the way. Again, we tidy up after you. <laughs> Come on, guy, put a bit of stank on it. Come on, guy. Hey, David, you put your fat legs on that there. That's it, hey, that's it. Can you do that like that's it. Or something? A bit away. Yep. No, not just in the marathons are the good thing. But you think they're great because they're gym and lifting weights. No. No. I wouldn't lift. Well, in fairness, you look it. You're fucking... Prime. Greg, you're... You never looked as well. Shut your head up. No, I'm telling you, you're gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not saying you're gorgeous, just saying you have a sexy body. That's all. <laughs> Gary, I'm not saying you don't either. You have lovely hair. It's not dyed. Oh, not You're the same age as me, nearly. But hey, you're younger than me. You do look one hardy cunt, in fairness. With the big legs. Soft arms. Put everything back where it's supposed to be, guy. Uh, well, that's not your hammer. And where's mine? I don't know. You're always robbing shit on me. David. No, it's because it's your year Who, stuff. Where did you get that hammer? I got it in your machine. You robbed it? No, I borrowed it. You didn't tell me. If I it. robbed that, and you'd never see it again. Yeah, ah, Gary, why are you making Greg's life harder than it already is? Sorry, I was why you have to move. See, where I stood uh, up for you. It's a great job. Hey, see the way I stood up for you? Good job. See that? Oh, the best job. You know. Oh, I need my tracks tight. I'm there for a little bit. You had to put your shoes on three times. Yeah. How we were doing the track. Yeah. It's a tough job. Didn't I take it off me on? You broke it off. That's... The little midgets are out, like the little robins. I said that to you when you held the car. Yeah, the robins are afraid of nothing. And why would they be? Biggest dick in the bird kingdom. 
compared to their size. This boy's looking for some sort of medal. Because they fixed their tracks for once. I'm fucking sick doing it. I'm always at Bastards. And while the lads are looking for that medal, I'm going to be looking for a black bar for my one when I get it. I don't want that thing. I want a black bar that goes down and then out there and down there. That makes sense. That's all you want. Who's carrying who tonight? Greg's carrying me. Oh, bollocks. Finally, he can turn his attention. Greedy cunt. Oh. By the rumble of talk. I fucking love that joke. It's just so, it's so fun to drive. So remember I uh, made Shay in front of the car going to uh, Westport. Well, um, had to get it done. And Brian from Centre Queen Dot was ordered my splitter, came up today, dropped off that Audi and brought it back down to that loan. That's, that's, that service. Looking forward to getting it back, having a right. And I just may tell Vicky from now on not to let me drive it. Thanks, Brian. You appreciate it. He's about three lanes ahead of me. Well, he's three lanes here, and then there's another half lane up the top that I left. Because I had to come down and fill with diesel the other day. He's going like a whore. He's here every morning, red early. Staying on at night. Greedy bastard. So he's actually carrying me at this time. Don't tell anyone. Shh. Shh. You know, I like my little big mug, right? It's grand. But... I have to stick toilet paper in there to stop it from shaking, and even at that. Because John Deere like big mugs. I, don't know. I prefer my other mug in the machine. Wish your luck. You have to have something for everyone, don't you? Vicky and Lily and them are going for more tests today. Just to make sure that they still are clear. Hopefully. Lily will come up negative again. Bet you Greg's on the phone to Garrett going, uh, we may pay him more. We may pay him more. He's just so fucking productive. And good looking. And caring. And a tender and attentive lover. Obviously Vicky told him. They, they would know I'd never, I'd never, um, what's the nice way of saying it? Fuck them. Drinking, I'm drinking about three these days. Um, I meant to get back to people who were asking me, did I finish that book on Audible, The Last Exodus that I downloaded? I did, and it's brilliant. And not only that, it's a three book series, and I downloaded all three books and finished them all in a week. It was so entertaining. Now, if you're not into sci fi, you're gonna fucking hate it. So, if you're not into sci fi, don't bother your whole. But yeah, Paul Tassi is the author. Don't know where he came out of. I was looking him up. And he's a YouTuber, he does YouTube videos on computer games and mostly Destiny. I like Destiny, so. Yeah, really, really good. Wish them in a film out. I'd go see that shit. And my favourite character in it was Alpha. So, just if you're listening to it and maybe you agree with me, I don't know. When well, there was only one lane left, I said I'd go for one load before I went home and make it a good one. And all the other lanes were about maximum two or three hundred meters this lane the last lane was about 300 meters and then when i got to 300 meters it went like this for another fucking 200 you bastard Gregory. perfect i didn't take that low too far away keep it nice and close to the lane Way quicker. Raptor! Arr! Is uh, what we should be expecting as we did in times past. <laughs> <laughs> Got a phone call from one of my glorious leaders saying that I have to trade Ponzi tomorrow. I don't really mind that much. Um, you know, you could, be, you could be doing worse things tomorrow. You know, it could be... I don't mind. There's a spider in the house. Lily seen him today and started crying. 
And uh, normally I'd say, oh, get over, will you? But I seen him last night. And he ran across the kitchen. And the reason that he stood out is he had a saddle on. There was a cat riding him. Meow. That's how big he was. So, yeah, he was a big, poor. Look, watch. I have been busy. So, don't think I'm doing nothing. I'm fucking flat out. Yeah, the pansy tomorrow. I should be fucking good. I love driving it. It's the main reason I bought one. They're just so fun to drive. They're exciting to drive. I love driving it to work. I love driving it home. I love driving it in the wood road. They're just, they're cool. I love it. Sold, they sold out really quick, thank God. I won't say that I'm sad about that, but I have more coming in. Um, hopefully I'll have next week, early in the week. This week, this week. Difficult one, if it's a totally different career and you had to learn from scratch, if you're not used to the jet, you don't really know what it's like. So you might need to give it a bit more time. But being away from home isn't nice either, especially if you have kids. If you don't have kids, give it a little bit more time. Nice in the background is Vicky emptying the dishwasher. She does it like this. Vroom, vroom, vroom. But, um, well, look, if you're just not happy and you just leave it, just make sure that you make a plan. Don't just leave and have no job to go to. Like, uh, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. You know, good old men, men using their hands. In fact, it's uh, known that the best planters in Ireland are from this area. That's just what I heard. I'm only saying it. Yeah, it'd, be just, it'd just be steak. Just steak, black pepper sauce, fillet steak, of course. And if it wasn't a steak, I kind of like carbonara, don't I think? Yeah, one of them. Oh, I'm really, really indifferent about it. I don't really care. But I would love for them to get Greg on and uh, start talking about cameras then. Come on, bikes. Come on, get Greg on. See what you talk about. Thanks. Thanks for calling me a bollocks. I, you are... Thanks, Vicky. You're I love you. I love you. Hopefully this week. Hopefully. I went for the grey, and I'll tell you why. I seen one once, and it gave me an erection. And then I had an idea. And that colour is going to go perfect with all the sexy extras that I'm going to put on it. Because it's... <laughs> uh, I can't answer that. <sighs> Vicky, why do you pop with me? She loves me. It's higher, wider, taller, um, different suspension. It's more orientated towards the driver having fun with it than working the shit out of it. I think that would be the best way to explain it. <laughs> I've had deep conversations at length about it. I'm going to head over there and teach him how to make a forwarder sing. And he's going to help me get over my fear of rotten, eight-legged, hairy bastard spiders. <coughs> I wouldn't put that on them. That's not their responsibility. That's going to be, hopefully, Luke. 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 I could do a set of allies. I Luke. Luke. You know, I haven't thought about them until just now, so... I don't know. Um, I'll put up a poll, and if people want them, I'll get them. Just... Do it. Just do your videos. The release, the freedom of not caring what other people think, of not worrying about other people's opinions. It holds everyone back from everything. It doesn't matter what you're doing, any career, anything that you're doing. And there was a little part of that question where I don't know whether it's your friends or your family. It's obviously people that you're talking to that are putting you off stuff. And it doesn't matter what stuff anyone's trying to get into or wanting to do. Be careful whose advice whose opinion you take. Try paying your bills with opinions. Doesn't work out great. Never has, never will. But there, uh, there's a lot of begrudging cunts out there. And never mind the opinion of someone who's never done anything. Like think of all the people that are out there bringing people to the top with them and those people don't even want to see them get there. This full of cunts you have to watch. Watch out. Uh, if you have to, I had to do it at one stage in my life. You have to make your circle so small that you just talk to yourself because you're really the only person that can give yourself good advice. There's Garrett. Now, I don't know whether it's just me 
because I've had this where every Ponty that I've ever driven, new, old, mediocre age. Now I'm not saying they stink, but they have a certain smell. I don't know whether it's the plastics or the fabrics. They, um, like I said, I'm not saying they stink, I'm just saying there's a certain whiff. Garrett's keeping himself in some nice timber. Yeah, you wouldn't see the 1010 in this sort of stuff. No, no, no. I'll be up the mountain bashing 25, 30 degree hills on wet ground. Garrett. Get to your boss. <laughs> oh, you're such a fucking dickhead. Uh, that's not what I'm saying at all. In fact, you can virtuously take a bullet from whoever you want. All I'm saying is don't take it from the people that are firing the fucking things, you goddamn idiot. Did Michelle Blair mean best when she got her 11 year old to slash and murder her baby sisters? And Joseph Fritzl, I wonder did he mean best? We all know what he did. I'm not really sure, I only drove a 3.2 once and I don't have a good frame of reference on it. I know all the wire tracks are 2 litre bike turbos now, but they do have springs in the back so they won't be as comfortable as a Raptor, but they'll be better to do their work, won't they? Won't they? Won't they for fun? Won't they for fun? These ones I'm a large and in the crossnecks I'm a medium. The crossnecks are very big fitting. I have to bring out brash in me each time because it's getting a little bit... It's not mucky but I don't want it to get that way. We're lucky we have good weather today and if I don't look after it now... You know yourself, that's why I'm on the fucking big money. Most people are asking me, can I describe the smell? And like I said, it's not a bad smell. I'm not saying that the machine stinks. I'm saying that there's a certain pungent aroma. If I was to describe it, it'd be a combination of dentist and dog shite. I don't know, not dog shite, just something that I think that I've... I, I can't put my finger on it, although I think that I may have put my finger in it at one time. I don't, I don't know. It's not a bad smell, it's just a certain stank. It's just a certain stank. It's just a Ponzi stank. It's just a Ponzi stank. This is a tough industry. And most people that are at this aren't lucky enough to be home every night like I am. And when money goes up in driving lorries or working on building sites and handier jobs, why, why would you do it? Why would you do it? Problem. These babies, they're called Aftershocks and I definitely recommend them. I use Apple EarPods Pro and they're grey, but they're in your ear and after a while they annoy you. These are so comfortable. I bought these with my own money. Yep, as Alan Clark would say, my own fucking money. That is not sponsored. I genuinely think they're great. Although I think Aftershocks should be giving me shit loads of money. Maybe six billion dollars. Because I'm after giving them such a fucking high rating because it deserves it. It's time for a wake. Sorry, I mean dinner. Don't get me wrong, I would take all forms of currency, not just the big old Yankee dollar. No, I will take sterling, kroner, yen, Deutschmark, Bitcoin. I can take digital currency. No fucking better man. No better man. I'd even take bonds. Unsecured bonds, secured. <laughs> uh, shares. Well, as long as they're worth a few quid, I'd take them. The only payment method I won't take is uh, slaves. I hate that. I hate slavery. I just don't believe in it. No, no denying it gets shit done. Look at the pyramids. Look at the pyramids. And the British Empire built itself on slaves. There's no denying that work. But that I won't take them. I have integrity. So. So um, Gary came to visit me. And he hasn't been here in two weeks because we were isolating. So we're doing a bit of catching up. And Gary been the CEO of his own e-commerce business and a bike shop and a digger man and many, many, many things. He doesn't agree. Now, I know he has a lot more experience than me, but I am an international CEO of an e-commerce business now. And I feel that my personal messages are good. You don't agree with him? I agree with some. Just, Just new ones a bit out there. I like it. I think the customer's going to be very, very happy with that. I don't know what relevance it has to 
but I think it's it's an artistic masterpiece.